the Miami Dolphins were gifted with a post-Christmas dose of Fitzmagic. Veteran quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick replaced Tua Tungavailoa in the fourth quarter Saturday and led his team to a remarkable game-winning drive to secure a 26-25 road victory over the Las Vegas Raiders, significantly boosting Miami's chances of making the playoffs. The play of the game came with the Dolphins down 25-23 with just 19 seconds left. Fitzpatrick dropped back and heaved a miracle Hail Mary attempt down the left sideline, where he found an open receiver in Mac Hollins. It was redemption for Hollins, who dropped a potential touchdown just a few minutes earlier. Raiders defensive lineman Arden Key was ripping Fitzpatrick's face mask at the same time, making it a no-look pass, and, most important, adding a 15-yard penalty. The yardage set the Dolphins up for a 44-yard winning field goal by Jason Sanders. It was a wild last five minutes of the game that consisted of a Fitzpatrick go-ahead, 59-yard touchdown pass to Miles Gaskin, a Raiders go-ahead field goal with 19 seconds left aided by a very questionable pass interference call, and ultimately Fitzpatrick's heave. Also tucked in there was a unique decision by the Raiders to have Josh Jacobs slide at the one-yard line, setting up a field goal, rather than the running back crossing the goal line for a touchdown. The 10-5 Dolphins now have a 62% chance to make the playoffs, per ESPN's Football Power Index, and their path is very simple, win next weekend at Buffalo and they are postseason bound for the first time since 2016. This is the second time the rookie Tungavailoa has been benched in the fourth quarter of a tight game in search for an offensive spark this season, the other was the Week 11 loss to the Broncos. Fitzpatrick fell just short of a comeback in the game and he pulled off the incredible trick this week. Fitzpatrick threw for 182 yards in the fourth quarter, tied for his most ever yards in a fourth quarter, 2013 Week 15 versus Cardinals. Fitzpatrick managed to complete more passes thrown more than five yards downfield than Tungavailoa, who struggled mightily on those same throws. Fitzpatrick went 5 of 6 for 154 yards and a touchdown while Tungavailoa went 3 of 7 for 35 yards. Dolphins coach Brian Flores has continually counted on Fitzpatrick as the offensive spark when needed to enter the game, seemingly with little concern about what him arriving in the lineup does to Tungavailoa's confidence. Both quarterbacks have said they will do whatever the coaching staff believes gives Miami the best chance to win. Ultimately, the moves Flores has made have paid off and might have saved the Dolphins' playoff chances. In his post-game media availability, Flores said Tunga Vailoa will be the starter next weekend against the Bills. Flores says he went to Fitzpatrick on Saturday because the team needed a spark, but the rookie will still be number one on the depth chart. If we need to go to a relief pitcher in the ninth inning, that's what we'll do, Flores said. Tungavailoa said after the victory that it's a learning experience and he knows he needs to take more chances down the field.